Hey, this is Katie with Wildflower Homeschool and Tiny House Homestead. This is assignment number three for the virtual homeschool co-op. And the question is, how do I use reading list in my homeschool? Um, this is one of my favorite questions because I love reading and I feel like reading is such an important part in our homeschool. If we did nothing else but read books, read great books, enjoyable books, um, that we would be, we would learn everything we needed to know through books and maybe a math program. But yeah, I love reading and I think that this is a great question. I love the Charlotte Mason method. I love um, Thomas Jefferson education and both of those methods really um, push, you know, re not push, but you know, encourage reading a lot of living books. Um, so we read a lot of books and we visit the library a lot. Um, I, I feel like if I, one year I didn't have any money and we could only go to the library that it would be a successful year and we would learn everything we needed to. Um, I do buy some curriculum. I enjoy using some curriculum, but um, yeah, reading is a great tool in homeschooling. So there are five questions and I'm going to go through those and answer those um, for you guys. The first question is, how do you find your reading list? And I look everywhere. I look all over the internet. I really like the Goodreads website. I just type in like fifth grade reading list and it'll give me lots of choices. I um, use the reading list from Mensa just as a guide. Um, I would love if by the time my kids are graduated that we read all of these books. Um, uh, and then I use my library's website. They have a really great website where you can search books if they suggest books that you might like, if you liked a certain book. Um, and so I just get on there and you know, I, any book that somebody else has suggested, I write it down. Books that I liked when I was a kid. Um, you know, I just gather books everywhere. I've got a huge binder, uh, like a three ring notebook full of books that I want to read. So books that I'll never have time to read, but I keep list of books that I want to read. So just, I just gather my list from everywhere. Um, question number two is how big is your list? Um, do we read a certain number of books every year? And the answer is, it just depends. I don't have a certain number of books that I want us to read. I do have a list of books that I would like for them to read, but then they also can pick out whatever books they want to. So like, this is the reading list for this year that I would really like both of my kids to read all of these books independently and then I've got I have blanks for adding more books but if we don't get to all of these that's fine I want them to pick out their own books too these are just kind of like suggestions if they run out of their own ideas and then I have a list of books that I want us to do as a read aloud as a family and I usually pick like the more classic books, the more challenging books um, for our read alouds. Because um, I don't make them read books that they don't enjoy. I definitely want them to have a say in what they read. Um, question three is how do you have them get the reading done? Do I have them read a certain number of chapters or pages a day? Uh, we do time chunks. So like every morning they have an hour where they either need to be reading or writing. Uh, my older daughter chooses to read for 30 minutes and then write for 30 minutes. My third grader is not enjoying writing very much this year, so she chooses to read for the whole hour. Um, we're working on the writing thing, but I'm not forcing it yet. Um, and then in the afternoon, they also have another 30 minute uh, chunk of time where they read uh, independently. And then in the evenings, we will read 
usually one to three chapters out of our read aloud. Uh, so that's how we do reading every day. Uh, the fourth question is, do I have a rewards program? The main reason I pulled, well, not the main reason, but one of the reasons why I pulled my kids out of public school is because they hated reading. Whatever they were doing at school, the way they were teaching them, uh, they hated to read. And that was very sad for me because I really enjoy reading and I don't think that reading is ever something that a six-year-old or an eight-year-old should think that they really hate doing. Um, I could go more into the reasons why and all that stuff, but I won't. But my kids came out of public school hating to read. If they wouldn't have done that, then I wouldn't have implemented a rewards program, but because they hated it and I really wanted to encourage them to read and teach them to enjoy reading, I did implement a rewards program. Uh, last year what we did is about every hundred pages they would get a dollar. Uh, this year we are doing, because, because they're reading a whole lot more and uh, they would be very rich if um, I was paying them a dollar for every hundred pages, we are doing at the end of the month if they have read, done a good job reading that month and without a lot of complaining or anything and just done their reading, then I will, they're into Littlest Pet Shop toys and they're kind of like the Beanie Babies of today. And I will, they have about $10 where they can go on eBay and pick out whatever Littlest Pet Shop toy that they want. So we've been doing that at the end of the month. Um, so I'm on the fence about rewards programs, but we are using one. If your kids enjoy reading, once they start enjoy reading more than, as they get older, we won't continue to do that. But for right now it's working and it is encouraging them to read. Um, I cannot wait until the day they have not yet just picked up a book and read it without me encouraging them to read. So I'm really hopeful that one day soon they will just go and sit down and pick up a book and start reading on their own just because they want to. But that hasn't happened yet. Um, question five is, do I quiz my kids? And I do not. Uh, we do have discussions and conversations about books. Um, the books that we read aloud together, we talk about a lot. We reference them in our real life. Like one of my favorite things that we did last year was we read the Hunger Games trilogy and watched all the movies together. And we still reference that book um, every day, not every day, but on a day, you know, a lot in our life, we still joke, you know, inside jokes with the book. Um, it, you know, that was just so much fun for us to do as a family. And uh, so, like, the books that they're reading independently, I'll kind of ask them about it, especially if it's a book that I've read before, um, just to get their thoughts on certain things uh, and make sure that they're understanding the main point of the book. But some of the books that I haven't read and I don't know anything about, like for example, my daughter is reading a Minecraft book right now. I can't ask her anything about it. Um, I just kind of trust that they, they are understanding it. And based on what we do talk about, I, they are understanding it. Also, I don't really like the questions that they ask on reading comprehension, uh, on the reading comprehension quizzes because like I am not a detailed person when I read a book or even watch a TV show like I can go the whole book or the whole series of the TV show and not remember anybody's name or maybe remember one or two characters names um, because I don't pay attention to details like that I pay attention to like the big idea and um, the symbolism of it and just what I took from it personally. I'm just not a detailed person when it comes to that. And a lot of the reading comprehension questions are detail oriented. And so I don't really like them because I don't think that 
that's the important part of the book. The important part of the book is what the reader took away from it or what the reader learned from it. Some of you might understand what, where I'm going with that. But I don't know. I just don't like the reading comprehension questions. I would prefer we discuss it. And no, I do not quiz. I don't like quizzes. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch everybody else's videos on how they do their reading list in their homeschool, I will link um, that down below. And thank you guys for watching.